Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I'll be doing a uh, love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Um, keep in mind it is a general reading. Take what resonates for you. Leave the rest, check out other signs in your chart. Uh, we are moving into the second week of February. The shortest month, the, the, the best month, of course, uh, I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> Celebrating my birthday next week. Uh, just some housekeeping as well. I do get some comments sometimes about sound, coffee, drinking, this, that. Well, I am in my living room and uh, when I do a reading, I just do the readings and whatever sounds come up, as long as YouTube approve them, it's going live. <laughs> so anyone that don't like it, that's fine. Uh, I am also sensitive to human sounds and that is just how our human ears are like, but uh, this is Tara reading and not BBC News where I will have a, a camera crew helping me cut out the the the, the, the nuisance. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not how it works here on the channel. Um, so um, that is uh, that is it. Um, but I hopefully, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do a good reading for you today. <laughs> without too many interferences. Um, so Pisces, oops. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. The cards have a lot to say today. Mm -hmm. Transformation, transformation is happening here. If you've laid low, you are stepping out uh, in a new path. You might be looking at new opportunities are in front of you, moving into time Pisces where you feel wealthy. You might come from a good family, a maybe wealthy family, or it doesn't, you know, when I say wealthy, it doesn't always have to mean that, well, what's the amount in the bank to be wealthy? I don't really believe in, in such but the community around you, the family around you, it's, it's wealth and abundance. Uh, you, you are really embracing that. And so when it comes to a person, there is something about you feeling a bit sad, a bit unknown. What is, hap what is happening to your feelings with this person? It, it, it's, it's like you are, you are looking out for them, stargazing, even if you don't want to. The person you're dealing with, why are they feeling so mentally trapped? Could you be dealing with an Aquarius, not able to open up? So we have the Tower, Scorpio. All right, all right. There is, you know that something is brewing. It's like something is bubbling. I'm getting like bubbly, bubbles. It's like a it bubbles, like acid here, or this could go both ways. It could be acid. It could just be salt water coming up. Something is brewing, bubbling, and you feel... You are looking ahead. Maybe it's you that will cause a tower moment, Pisces. Um, your person, the desired outcome is a, a new beginning. There is magic in, in this union for them that have not been explored. They are learning. They might be studying. They might also be bound to a religion or a way of living. So, um. In the near future, Pisces, there's also coming up an opportunity. Now, it could also be, um, there is a breaking point around you. This is, is, is it's, um, it could go both ways. If you are standing, just thinking, which way is it going to, to, to go? Uh, it can also be in a career situation or anything that you're waiting for, but you know, whatever comes up of the water, uh, it brings a change, whichever it's going to be black or white. So your intuition, you feel things before it happens, but something is brewing, is coming up. But the, the clarity and the truth is going to be, be seen, is going to be said, and it's giving this brand new beginning, uh, an area of, uh, an, an era of feeling um, this uncertainty. Pisces is, is coming to an end. Now, there is something that you will leave behind. You are looking back and you think, okay, I need to leave this behind. That is coming back to the person. Someone is trying to tap into you telepathically. Why are they so indecisive? The lovers. Um, 
So this person is hovering around you. This person could try to prove they are not in love with you whilst they're still head over heels. They could still be breadcrumbing into you because they are stuck in another situation, stuck in their head, what not. Someone here will go through the dark night of the soul based on this truth. Um, mm -hmm. Competition. A new, a new exciting beginning is coming towards you. Okay. So you are going to see the truth about a situation that you thought was toxic and it's going to show you it's toxic. I believe it is to, is to do with a person, Pisces, someone from your past, could be Aries. Something is brewing. Something is brewing. And then boom, you see it. So is this person trying to prove to everyone around them that um, they're not moving forward with you? That they're not having any feelings for you? That they're no longer interested in you, that they have rejected the situation. Something like that, but why? They, have, they might have been caught spying on you, Pisces. They're being caught spying on you, uh, having feelings for you they deny that they have or something to do with them having forward movement. Jealousy around you, bickering around you. Why is this? Uh, 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 for some of you, there's something to do with fighting for a contract that you will get. So, uh, other people as well want this contract. You, you will get it. There's a lot of jealousy, a lot of competition around you, a lot. Uh, that could also be to do with this union. Uh, okay, uh, spirits, can I please get... So what is the current... What's happening around the, the person that... Pisces is dealing with surroundings. This is too many cards, but I saw the, the death and uh, the mind games with the five of swords. Okay, we'll, we'll do it again because I don't really want that many cards. Mm -hmm. Right. Someone might decide to, to stay and work on a situation that is their current surroundings uh, and they feel trapped, but they have to stay there. There's something about they need a stable work situation. They need to provide for a child. Mm. They need to conform to a, a type of religion, not a type, but a religion or a society or institution that. They have to be behave in a certain way. Uh, why uh, is why are they feeling so mentally trapped and not able to go? And you see how the moon is behind them. <clears throat> why is that happening? So okay, this person there might be a marriage, or it's got to do with someone they depend on or depend on them. So why is that? They have feelings for you, but they cannot express. They have to prove to people around them that they, they are over this union, so they can't express their feelings. Uh, but their true decide outcome is the star, which is this, this union makes them feel a certain way that they want to overcome these obstacles. So the soulmate union here, this they feel we're unified and there's a mutual attraction, dating, close bond and connection, mutual respect. Um, but with the five of wands, there is an obstacle about coming forward. That means with the lovers, uh, they have to make a decision. They're not making the decision. Um, might be to do with a work situation. They cannot rush. Five of Wands and the Three of Pentacles for the person that Pisces is dealing with. All right. So they're trying to prove to everyone to make it less obvious because they have matured. They're persevering. Persevering about moving forward because their surroundings are not accepting their feelings or their forward movement. Therefore, they have to keep it to themselves. 
but when it comes because they have to get um, a certain amount of finances and a stable situation before they move forward towards you, but that's what they are planning. They are spinning many plates. Um, they might be a father figure. It might be, um, this may be a, um, an Aries as well. It's something about them having to, they, they can't express their feelings. They have told their surroundings that they don't have any feelings for Pisces. Because they have to keep, they have to keep um, something quiet. There's a lot of gossip where they are. Um, and so on the person that Pisces is dealing with. So there is a decision of the heart. Okay, there's a decision of the heart. There's three of swords, there's three of pentacles. So definitely something to do with a decision of the heart, of course. So then... Um, Apply how it resonates. Okay. When they give this decision, it will be no coming back. It will be shaken up. Also, they are afraid to come towards you and be rejected, Pisces. So, but but this have already happened. So apply it to how it resonates with you. It's already happened. They have already said, they have already shown. So again, apply it how it resonates. If the person had recently showed you that they have chosen another path, there could be a tower moment they have showed you. If, if, if not, this is someone that is finally showing or not keeping it a secret anymore that they don't have any feelings. So they have held back their feelings for you, what they, their plans, they kept their plans to themselves, but now they are releasing their feelings so trying to they failed in proving that they don't have any feelings for you and that they are not moving forward yeah they're dealing with the queen of pentacles telling the queen of pentacles that could be a mother of their child anyway it's not gender specific applied how it resonates there is uh, um, something being spoken a truth uh, it's it's causing uh, havoc. Someone could cut them off. They could suddenly feel homeless. Now, but some of them might not be able to get through that. So they will seek a collaboration again with the Queen of Pentacles to get out of the code financially. Perhaps there is something they are trying to seek remorse, but. The, the cat's already out of the bag. Um, yeah, a, a major tower moment in someone's living situation is happening. So it could be a long time coming, a court case, a custody, things like that. Anything to do with the legal matters that is dragging out. But they have to, meanwhile, they have to lay low. They can't express their, well, somehow they think they can't so this could be someone paranoid as well right so uh, i'm sensing someone is failing to prove they don't have any feelings for you they're supposed to lay low but they have feelings for you that there's something about the truth they're very obsessed about you very passionate about you at the same time you pisces have also your i don't really so, so you, you have already walked away and given up on this connection because uh, they have showed you the toxic side. They have, you have given them enough chances and now you are not waiting for them anymore. Pisces current situation, what's happening there? Um, fast movement, justice is going to be served, uh, cause and effect, things are going in your favor. The, the spirits have your back, so it's like good karma coming to you. Um, if you have felt uncertain about a work situation, what to do, um, it says here, just work a little bit more uh, and remember why you stay there or started in the first place. So if you've been in a place, if you had great success in the past, but now you're going through a long, long time of not thinking, okay, I need to leave this. I mean, there's nothing left for me. Uh, it says, hang on, hang on, because... Uh, 
um, it said the advice is that hang on until hang on until you feel the way you used to feel because then you leave for the right reasons. But that is more when it comes to um, a job situation, something about regaining a passion. So the tower death. Your desired outcome is a, is a complete change in the end. A complete change. The death and the tower for Pisces. Um, desired outcome. A complete change in your career situation. Karma is being presented to you and is taking you out of difficulties. Yeah, taking you out of difficulties. There could be jealousy around you because of that. Yeah, a jealousy around you because of that. Could be a jealous woman. Burden. There is something, you know, there is a change. You might seek a new beginning where you are, only again to be disappointed. Hmm. Let me look at this. Why is deep? So there is a, a complete change. Traveling to Kama Waters. Why is the Five of Wands and the Nine of Swords here coming up for Pisces? You're going to see the truth about some lie. You're not going to lie to yourself. Persevere. Um, now, so I see, okay. Um, I, I see, okay. So, so you are, this might be a journey that you get on. You start seeing things clearer. There's an opportunity coming in of collaboration. I think that because this person have disappointed you before, you are hesitant to move forward, but it's also making you happy. There's something about indecisiveness. Um, yeah, you, you are not going to move forward with an offer from someone that disappointed you before there is a risk. But you're feeling happy about a new beginning. With that, I'm thinking we are in more on the, the, the career. There's something that you're overcoming as well. Something you're overcoming. And in a battle, maybe to let go, you might deal with some kind of anxiety and suffering, despair and nightmares. Um, this has to do with a person yeah it has to do with a person you are used to their games so it's something that you're not really taking them seriously at this time you also know when to take this person with a pinch of salt there is because there is success around you and something you have been waiting for uh, that will go very fast, that will make you very busy. You might also get out of your head in a way of uh, maybe... Some, it's something about a work situation. Uh, why is the Eight of Wands? Okay. okay. Something about an Aries. And Aries is rushing to you because there is a tower moment at their end. This person might be someone that is uh, this kind of, it, it's, they have to be in a relationship regardless if they love someone or not. So they have stayed there and now they need like a, a mother to look after them. But of course you are not their mother. They love you, but they're coming towards you 
with the wrong foundation, you know that if you open up to them, this romance you might have had, but it don't, you don't really see the romance anywhere. This could be a, a long time ago. And you will see that this person is very needy. They can't provide you anything. So you will leave this behind. Yeah. Th this is the, the person. And th this could be this person... It's like they're, pr they're failing to prove everyone that they're in love with you. But they've done it for so long. So now it's, it's too late. They are the only obstacle in your life right now if you let them in. Because you've been letting go of everything else. Uh, why does this person show up here? Um, you've seen the truth about this person. Pisces, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Um, mm -hmm. a, a, a huge change. Someone's going to be very disappointed. You are firmly not opening up to this person. Um, for, for you that are dealing with this person, you know that it is, it's, it's, this is, 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 almost like a um, when you have an addiction to someone, something, a bad habit, you know that if you give into it, you can have the best time and you, it might go down in the memory as the best time. But then there is the, the aftermath of that is not what you need because everything is, else is very successful around you. And because this person is coming out of a, uh, there, there is some baggage. Why is it so, why is this resistance around Pisces? Why is this? So, defeat painful ending. Mm -hmm. this, uh, there's, there's something that you will say no to. You will say no to because you know it's for the best and that, that someone could be very pissed off. They think that you will say yes to them. They think that you will say yes to them, but why? All right, I need to get some cards. What is this? I see people are annoying you. So you, 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 it's... As soon as you are a bit out and about, there's something about everybody wants a piece of your energy, uh, Pisces. Uh, you're very attractive. It's this obsessiveness uh, and, and someone soaking that they can't have you, but they can't show you they love you. So it's uh, contradicting. And now you are able to turn your back to them. Let's see here. Okay. What is the most likely outcome for Pisces in love? Second week of February. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An awakening, passing a judgment on exactly what the situation is now. You love yourself. You're manifesting and starting a new chapter that is making you very happy. Why are you stuck in your head? You have seen this person's bad behavior more than once. So when they come forward to you, there is love and lust, but you know they're not really showing the truth, but they still come forward. They show you an illusion. This is someone that will try to continue to show you an illusion, steer you away from your wish fulfillment, but you're not having it. Um, you're not buying it. Mm. They see your success, you're very happy, but still this person is lingering, coming back, they, they want more, uh, but still they can't, they are not showing, yeah, at what one time, uh, once upon a time, what's going to want time in the future, this person, they, they want to give you this offer. They want this balance, but it's going to be too late because they've been too indecisive, very attracted to you. Yeah, the, a person's coming towards you, showing you a lot of attention, but you know that you, you cannot give in to them because of their situation. There's something they're not showing you. And before you see it, you are simply not giving this person attention either. 
an opportunity that is bringing you sort of um, this insurance that your manifestations actually are coming through. And you might be analyzing here, why, why, why am I attracting still this caliber? Why can't they just stay in their place? But you are in control over your feelings and you are letting go. You are just not... Um, mm -hmm. you're, ab you're able not to, to pay attention to the mind games anymore. You know that if you do uh, connect with this person, it will be the same over again. I don't know why this person is uh, so obsessed with proving that they don't love you. Mm. All right, this is what we will do. Why are they trying to prove they don't love Pisces? Why do they come forward? Give me some more messages for the person that Pisces is dealing with. Uh -huh. So they're proving that they don't love you when they do. Proving that. So this person is a, a go-getter. They want to, to get things done. They want to show their feelings. They want to show the truth. Could be dealing with someone with the same sex. Because they are speaking the truth, there is them showing their love. Yeah. Is it on your end? We shall see. So there is a third party situation here. Lovers usually say also a choice of the heart. Someone's wish fulfillment, they are going for it. Is, are these your fears, Pisces, that this is too good to be true? Is, could that be it? Because this person have showed you again and again and again and again and again, you can't trust them so that all you see is the defeat they will show you. So you can't allow yourself to give in to this person. Oh, oops. The advice is also allow yourself to be playful with them. It is true love. There has been a rocky path with you and them. But only when you... This might be your... See here, true love. Separation. You haven't seen this person for a very long time. Uh, it is also... There is some kind of fear... There is some kind of fear from your side that you have always wanted their attention and to come in correct. So when they do, you are realizing the disappointment and the mind games that have happened throughout is what is holding you back so that you might not be able to open up to this person and you feel very uncomfortable. You feel very uncomfortable because when you let your guards down, before you you regretted it or you took a long time to heal what is this there's something that you are anxious about really anxious about um, when it comes to this person uh, thinking about the past why is that any more messages for pisces um mm -hmm. something about them breadcrumbing you don't trust this person you just know that they are the type of person that would always give to someone else because they're addicted to attention. Someone could also disappoint you. You, you. you give and give and give and give. And so people ask for more. A travel will bring, it could bring you a start, a new start to this relationship, this connection. But you, it's making you nervous. Uh, this trip might have disappointed you in the past you might have gone on a journey with them in the past and they really betrayed you it turned into a nightmare yeah yeah oh my god there's something there is something that you do not want to repeat with this person 
yeah, uh, they treated you like a fool at some point. It caused an ending. Now they want a new beginning, but you have experienced a nightmare situation. So let's say if they are inviting you to a place you spend with them before, where they actually also at the same time disappointed you. You are, you are saying, no, 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 I'm not going there. I'm not going there. What is this? Okay, well, I will ask. Um, so Pisces is getting the, why is the um, hanged man and the, why is the nine of swords for Pisces? Why is that? Something about the truth, t wish fulfillment. Why is it a burden? Yeah. Um, you don't want to jeopardize your you have fought for what is your wish fulfillment Pisces someone that have disappointed you in the past and has showed you a nightmare there is true love you might connect with this person but you don't trust this person so you're, you're deciding for your own sanity that even if you connect with them you're keeping an arm's length because something is telling you that I cannot go forward with this person um, and you are very, uh, and if it's keep repeating itself, you should also be cautious. There will be a reason why you are cautious. Year of the rooster could be significant. Year of the pig and year of the dragon. Very interesting reading. So, I'll continue. You have given um, in the past, Pisces. You have given a lot, like your attention, your feelings, your uh, money, your everything. You have been constantly giving. Now, people coming back to you, also other suitors, they want a piece of that. They see that you could be very wealthy, or they see that you are the catch of a lifetime, and you know that no, there is a reason. You have passed my judgment on this situation already. I'm not going back on it. This will be because now this person is chasing me, I'm not going back on it. They've made me feel like this, frustrated for a very long time, I'm being strong. There's an insane chemistry, ending, bring new beginning, a date. There is per people that you will say no to, something to do with someone addicted because you are moving into abundance. Yeah, there is a person you know, doesn't matter how strong they come back, they are self-absorbed, there is one-sided relationship, there is addictions, and you just, you just, you have seen it and you pass the judgment and you know you can't unsee it. It's something that it doesn't matter how they come back. They don't fit into your new life, unfortunately. Very strong connection, but it is a connection where you need to keep them on an arm's length because you feel that you are the girl with a snake. And you know, if you resist, no, sorry, if you give into this union, and at this time, there is something about the other woman, there, there is something about people around them. Their situation is not a situation you want to integrate with at the time. You have seen what you need to see and you experience what you need to experience. And also this person had many chances. So even if you love this person and you, it's an irresistible connection, you know that when it comes to giving and open, opening yourself up, uh, you just cannot do that. So they must have done something quite bad uh, over a long time. What is the most likely outcome for Pisces? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when this person keep reaching out, do you feel it as a burden because you still love them? You are attracted to them. You still hope that this person is genuine, but you just know they aren't not because they could be still stuck in this marriage or in a situation. So you know that this cannot be rushed. There is also another person, there is a time where you're reconnecting with people, 
Um, there is also another person I'm sensing. This is an air sign or Virgo or Cancer uh, in, around you or Gemini. But this connection is also a past life connection. Also, you are you are at this time being you you are very wise, and because you don't need the energy, you see things clearly. You know when to to keep a, a distance between you and the world. Yeah, you keep a distance between you and the world for a reason because you have entered into a new phase of you this new phase of you you can't bring someone from the past that is weighing you down you know that is can stop your uh, personal development and you are noticing what you are receiving yeah uh, an awakening you are going through pisces people from the past could be coming up reaching out but you have already You have already judged them. A lot of communication, truth. Yeah. You are not... You are not uh, accepting this person's offer. They may give you attention. They, they could do whatever they want at this point. You are keeping... A distance with this person. You, intu you should definitely trust your intuition at this time. Um, yeah, you have very, very strong intuition. Follow this intuition. There is a reason why you feel how, feel a certain way. Um, there is a strong reason for it. Uh, let's see, we'll round up. But this connection is still very strong. Um, it keeps coming around you. But with these here, see, eight of four of cups, seven of swords, it's kind of being stuck in something that isn't going nowhere and someone is playing mind games and they're in and out. That's, that's how they are because the reason for that is because they're Proving, trying to prove to everyone they're not in love with anyone. So it's showing someone very, very immature. Final messages for Pisces at this time in February. Mm -hmm. An invite uh, is coming for you from a person. Um, there is also seeing a truth, clarity, breakthrough, new ideas. You are seeing the truth. Your intuition will be proven right uh, as well. What is this truth? Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. Again, oh my God, renewal. Also, I saw a uh, 10, 10. Waking up call, second chance, return, self-evaluation, reckoning and purpose. So I did see I did see 10 10. So this is about an um there is you are showing prestige and radiance, uh, and it's it's you're guided towards success and recognition. So if you follow your instinct and guidance, you will certainly get what you want, but you it's you are now a person that is detail-oriented, and um, your love for the truth allows you to resolve certain conflicts easily. I see that you have great control over your feelings as well. Mm -hmm. you, there is something so good happening around you. You're seeing the truth. Everything is making sense. And you're also seeing the truth of, so this is kind of a deep reading. The sacrifices that you made, um, it's something miraculous happening to you because of that. And you know it's because also that you have been acting with integrity. Judgment and the truth for Pisces. Yeah, that is what brings a tower. A, a tower.
power moment. You are becoming very wealthy. There is love here, celebration. Victory. Success. Also, I'm seeing that um, a revolution is happening around you. You are no longer the same person as you used to be. You are not... Uh, You're not tiptoeing around anyone. You are I, I see that is okay, you you have an awakening and it's very important you get there. Very important you get there, and it's happening in time. Um and something in the messages of Ace of Swords and an awakening, everything is making sense to you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for a while you have been very stuck in your head. You've been investing, you've been working, but now you're bearing fruit of your labor. A little gossip and people paying attention to you moving into your Ten of Pentacles. A person that is around you coming in slowly, but there is a reunion here. So is it so? You are moving into a relationship and I don't know if it's the same person. King of Cups could be a Gemini. Temptations. Temptations are coming up for you. You are staying put for a reason. Stay put. Just stay put. Don't give in to temptations. Because if you do, you will not experience this beautiful new beginning. Remember to really look after yourself at this time. Because many around you are discovering that you are the one and they have let you go. There are many regrets. There are so many regrets how you were treated. Many are majorly regretting how you were treated when it comes to suitors. They are seeing that, oh my God, Pisces is uh, so abundant. Pisces is wealthy. I don't know what it is, but it is this, oh my gosh, cards are flying. It is this grieving. There's people around you grieving for the loss of you. You're making your final judgment call. A win-win forecast is coming for you. And have faith, in, have faith in your vision and your dreams. Take time to breathe out. What do you need to release? Stepping out, you're stepping out of your comfort zone. This is all about you. Taking this, when you get temptations that you know is um, not right, you, you just know it, you, you, are, you have learned to trust your roadmap and say no to something that you are uncertain about. Mm. There's something about hanging in there. Hanging in there because what you get is... Uh, going to change your life, uh, your love life. Your divine counterpart is here. Trust that the right divine counterpart is here. Don't, um, something about, could you be dealing with a false twin? Someone that you moved forward with originally before, actually because there was someone else originally, the original divine counterpart, high priestess. Mm -hmm. Someone is watching you that have, that love you. They have not told you. And there is another person as well. Mm -hmm. There is an Aries. There could be an air sign. 
part of your destiny to learn something from these two people. One is reaching out. It's a new beginning. With an Aquarius, abundance, the truth, settling, marriage. And there is a path that you are closing and that could shock people. And that's, I'm seeing Pisces that it is a person that thought that they are the one for you. A lot of passion, been in and out. There has been someone else all along. This person is suddenly coming forward like a miracle with a message at first. Proving their love for you. Hmm. It is a strong confession of love. Truth will be spoken about this love. Hmm. Mm. I'm going to wrap this up. But um, yeah, it is a, an amazing love story happening because you are releasing something. There is no bad feelings. Someone is very serious about you. You can trust this person. Meant to be. They've been in a hermit mode for very long. Strong, a strong air in this person's chart. Strong air. They see your strength. They see your courage. Mm -hmm. The judgment. Something is, is very... Yeah. You're moving into a relationship. It is a major new beginning with someone. And you're leaving someone else out in the cold. Someone will be gutted that you leave them out in the cold. Your intuition is telling you that, yeah. Your intuition is telling you, Pisces, if it's a new person or not, but this is a strong air sign. This person, they know they want to be with you, someone that you want to be with. It is no doubt that you are going to be together. It, it, you are the... It, and everyone also knows that <laughs> there is no other match. Uh, you have a past life connection. No one can stand in between you and this union anymore. Pisces, what a reading. If it resonated, please uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Love you.